Hi, this is Bonnie Barker with BonnieBayCrochet.com and today in this video we're going to show you how to make the Morning Starburst dishcloth. This is part of a set that is a free pattern from Knit Picks. Um, it's called the Morning Sunburst Kitchen Set which also has a, a coffee cozy which um, I already have a video available for that. I'm going to make the dishcloth today and then later on we're going to get to the um, the dish towel in a later video. So let's go ahead and get our materials together. Okay, for this project you're going to need three colors. I'm going to be using the Knit Picks Shine Sport. This is a sport weight yarn, which would be a number two. Um, each of these has 110 yards, but obviously you're not going to need all 110 yards of every color. So if you have scraps around the house that are of the thinner um, cotton variety, feel free to use those instead. Okay, I'm also recommending uh, that you have a size G crochet hook, which is also a 4.4, I'm sorry, 4.00 millimeter, and a pair of scissors handy, as well as a yarn needle for threading um, the loose ends once we finish. Okay, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, starting with our main color, we're going to start with a slip knot. And then we are going to chain 42. Now we're just going to use a regular chain for this project. I'm going to go ahead and chain my 42 chains. Okay, now that I've completed my 42 chains, we are going to begin row one by working a single crochet in the second, let me go ahead and show that to you, a second chain from hook. So we don't use the first one, but the second chain, we go ahead and work our single crochet. Now we're going to skip three chains, one, two, three, and in the next chain, which is the fourth chain, we are going to work nine double crochets in that same space. So go ahead and do that. I'm just working in one loop of the chain. Feel free to do this however you like. If you like working in the back bump, you are free to do that. I prefer working in the side of the chain. It just seems easier, especially if we're going to you know, cover the rest of the the foundation chain later. So let's check one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Now we're going to skip the next three stitches. One, two, three, and then we're going to single crochet in the next stitch. So we're going to single crochet in that fourth stitch. And so we've made the first shell. Okay, so we're going to repeat that all the way across these chains. We're going to skip three again, one, two, three, and in the next chain we're going to work nine double crochets again. Okay, that would be seven, eight, Nine. We're going to skip the next three stitches. One, two, three, and then single crochet in the next stitch. So let's show you what we have after two repeats. So we're going to repeat this all the way across the row. We're going to be skipping the next three. One, two, three, and then again working nine double crochets in the next stitch. So I'm going to go ahead and finish out this row and I will show you how the row ends. This row ends by skipping the next three stitches, one, two, three, and a single crochet in that last space. Okay, now we're ready, <coughs> excuse me, now we're ready to begin row number two. We're going to go ahead and turn. We're going to chain four, one, two, three, four, and we're going to work four double crochets together over the next four stitches and this is how this works. We're going to wrap the hook, we're going to prepare like we're making a double crochet except we just yarn over and pull through two loops just once. We're going to do that four times. Each time I've held back that last loop, we should have one, two, three, four, five loops. Then we yarn over and pull through all of the loops, okay? 
Now after that, we're going to chain 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, single crochet in the next stitch, which should be that the fifth double crochet of this shell or this cluster. Okay, after we do that, after we do that single crochet, we're going to chain four again. One, two, three, four. Now this is where it gets interesting. We're going to work nine double crochets together over the nine stitches. These stitches, one, two, three, four, five, that would be that single crochet, six, seven, eight, nine. All of those stitches we are going to work um, nine double crochets together just like we did here with the four. I'll go ahead and do this one with you. Okay, so that's one, two, three, and notice how I'm holding a loop, that last loop back for each of these. Four, five should be, the fifth one should be that single crochet. Six, seven, eight, nine. Now I should have 10 loops on my hook. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There should be always one more than how many double crochets you're um, crocheting together. Now we're going to yarn over and pull through all of the loops. Okay. And let's go ahead and chain four. One, two, three, four. We're going to single crochet in the next stitch, which is right here at the top should be the fifth double crochet of that cluster and we're going to do it again. We're going to chain four, one, two, three, four, and then crochet nine together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. If you want to count the loops, you can. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yarn over and pull it through carefully all of the loops. Now if, you're, if your hook is not pulling through the loops as carefully or as easily as you just saw, saw me do, um, it maybe you need to look into a, a better shaped crochet hook. I really like the Susan Bates. I, I promise this is not a paid endorsement. This is just a lifelong love affair with a hook that really works well. Um, another thing is sometimes the yarn that you're using may be a little, I don't know, scraggly, um, maybe a lower quality. Um, or you just may just have to be real careful and pull through a couple at a time. Okay, so we're going to do that all the way across the row. We're going to chain four, one, two, three, four, single crochet in that next stitch. And then we're going to do nine together again over this, this section, a single crochet and with chain fours in between. So we're going to go ahead and finish that all the way across. I will show you how to finish the end. So go ahead and repeat this section two more times. Okay, after working, all the way across the row, let's work the last section together, and that is to double crochet five stitches together. One, two, three, four, and five. Yarn over and pull through all six loops on the hook. Now we're going to chain three, one, two, three, turn, and we're going to work four double crochets in this first stitch. One, two, three, four. Now the pattern does say to skip the next chain, next um, four chains, but I think that's an error in the pattern, so we're going to ignore that. And we're going to make a single crochet in the next stitch right here. So just single crochet in the next stitch, just like that. Okay, now we're going to skip the next chain four and we're going to work nine double crochets 
in that center right like that. A lot of double crochets for this pattern. Make sure we go through all of the threads there. Okay, let's double check to see how many double crochets we've made. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, we're good. Now we're going to skip the next. We're going to, um, I guess, skip the next stitch here. We're going to go in and single crochet in that next single crochet. We're going to skip the next chain four, and we're going to work nine double crochets again in that center stitch. Okay, so now that I finished those nine stitches, we are going to go ahead and single crochet in that next single crochet. And we're going to do that all the way across. We're just skipping the chain four, nine stitches in that center hole right there. Then we're going to skip the next chain and then single crochet in that next space. So go ahead and do that and I will show you how to end the row. We're going to end the row after we've worked this all the way across by working five double crochets in the last stitch, which is right here. We one, two, three, four, and five. So this is what you should have after three rows. Okay, now we're ready for row number four. We're going to chain one, turn, we're going to single crochet, in the first stitch, chain four, one, two, three, four, and we're going to work nine double crochets together over the next nine stitches. So that's one, two, three, four, and again, five should be that single crochet, six, seven, eight, nine. This is very much like row two. Pull them all through, chain four, one, two, three, four, and single crochet in the next stitch. So this is what we're going to do all the way across. I'll do it one more time. One, two, three, four chains, and then double crochet nine stitches together, or nine double crochets together. One, two, three, four, the fifth stitch in that single crochet, six, seven, eight, and nine. Yarn over and pull through all ten loops on the hook. Okay, so go ahead and finish out the row and I'll show you how to end this. For the last repeat, we will chain four and we'll single crochet in that last stitch just like that. This is the same stitch in which you had worked one of the nine double crochet uh, together in. Okay, so now we're ready for row number five. Okay, now we're ready to switch a color. So I'm going to back up a little bit on that single crochet. I'm going to back it out and I'm going to do it again, but I am not going to complete the stitch. I'm going to get my white color Or if you're using different colors, it would be maybe contrasting color number one. And I'm going to pull this through, completing that single crochet using the white. Now before I go any further, I'm going to go ahead and trim this up. And I'm going to tie just a simple knot by tying these together. Pull it through. And then just make sure to slide that. If you pull gently, you can control where the knot is, which will be right along the side, which will be very easy to hide in this fabric when we're finished with this project. 
Okay, so now we're ready to go on to number five. We've switched our colors. We're going to chain one, turn, and we are going to work a single crochet in the first stitch. We're going to skip the chain four, and we're going to work nine double crochets in the center here. just like we did two rows before. So I'll go ahead and finish these nine double crochets. So after finishing the nine double crochets, we're gonna skip the next chain four, and we're gonna single crochet in the single crochet, just like that. Okay, we're gonna skip the next chain four, and we're gonna do nine double crochets in that space, just like we've been doing. So go ahead and finish this all the way across the row, I will show you the ending and the color change at the end of this row. Okay, so we've worked this all the way across, and we're going to do a color change on this last single crochet. So we bring our cro single crochet up to that point, but we don't complete it until we take our contrasting number two color and we pull it through just like that. Okay, now just like we did one the beginning of the last row we're going to go ahead and take care of this yarn by cutting it and we're going to go ahead and tie a small knot okay and i'm going to slide it down by the end okay that's pretty good okay now we are ready to do rows six and seven and for rows six and seven it says to repeat rows two and three so we're going to chain four one two three four turn we're going to work four double crochets together now notice when i start this i'm not working in the single crochet i just start out by working on the double crochets okay so one two, three, four, yarn over and pull through all five loops. Now we're going to chain four. One, two, three, four, and we're going to work a single crochet in that next stitch. Chain four again. One, two, three, four, and we're going to work nine together and you've seen that before. So I'm going to go ahead and finish this all the way across the row working nine stitches or nine double crochets together chaining four well I'll, I'll go ahead and finish the first one here um, I always try to strike a balance between teaching too much and too little because if I um, if I do it too much over and over again I, I don't want to bore you to tears but at the same time, I don't want to leave you hanging, not knowing what to do. So I'm going to err on the side of teaching a little bit too much at the moment. So we're going to go ahead and pull through those 10 loops, chain four, one, two, three, four, single crochet in the next stitch. And you're going to do that again, all the way across. That's doing the nine stitches, chaining four, single crochet, then we will chain four, nine crocheted together, double crochets together, chain four, and then single crochet. So go ahead and do that. We end this row with a chain four and work five stitches together. That last one being right there in that single crochet. Yarn over and pull through all the loops. Okay. So now we're ready to repeat row three. We're going to chain three, one, two, three, and we're going to work four double crochets in the first stitch. One, two, three, sorry about that, and four. Okay, now we're going to single crochet in that single crochet and now we're going to work nine double we're going to well let me go ahead and back up we're going to skip the next chain four 
We're going to work nine double crochets right here. We've worked the nine double crochets in that space. I'm going to skip the chain four and single crochet in that next stitch. And we're going to work this all the way across, working the nine double crochets in the stitch there, skipping the, the chain four, single crochet in the single crochet, skip chain four, then nine double crochets in the stitch right there. So go ahead and finish that across the row. So we work this all the way across till we get to the last part. We're going to skip that chain four and we're going to work five double crochets in that last stitch. Okay, now as we get ready to do the last finishing of that fifth stitch, I'm going to hold back because it's time for another color change. Now before we finish this stitch, this is the last or the fifth double crochet, we are going to pull that white yarn through for the last part of that stitch. And let's go ahead and, and do our duty and take care of this stitch here. Let's see if we can get the strings lined up. Okay, just like that. Get our th scissors. Cut the yarn. Go ahead and tie a knot joining those two colors together. We're going to hide these at the end. It doesn't have to be super tight, just a little taut there. Okay. So now we are ready to go on. Um, this is going to be row eight. We have switched to contrasting color one, and now it says to repeat row four, which is going to be a chain one, turn, single crochet in the first stitch. Now we're going to chain four, one, two, three, four, and you know what to do next. We're going to be working nine double crochets together. So I'm just going to do the first one, and this is what you're going to do all the way across the chain four, and then work nine double crochets together. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And go ahead, yarn over and pull through all the loops on your hook. Chain four, one, two, three, four, and then single crochet in the next stitch. So go ahead and do that all the way across. Okay, we end this row by chaining four and then working a single crochet in that last stitch, which is the same stitch we worked one of the um, nine double crochets together in. Okay, so now after finishing row four, I'm sorry, row eight, which is a repeat of row four, we're gonna now repeat um, going back. I'm gonna go ahead and back this out Let's go ahead and do this stitch again because we're going to change colors back to the main color, which is the platinum color. I'm going to pull that color through and do another color change to get these strands worked together. Let me find my scissors and go ahead and tie another knot. Okay, so this is going to be what we're going to do now. We're going to do row nine, which is going to be a repeat of row five. I'm going to go ahead and start that for you now. Um, I'm going to chain one, turn, single crochet in the first stitch. I'm going to skip the next chain four, and we're going to work nine double crochets in that stitch there. After working the nine double crochets, we're gonna skip the chain four 
and the single crochet in that next single crochet. Skip the chain four and then again go on to do nine double crochet. So this is how you're going to do row five all the way across. After working this all the way across, we just simply work a single crochet in that last stitch. Now there are no more color changes for the remainder of this project, so let me give you some instructions. Um, what we're going to do now is work rows 10 through 18 just using the main color, which is the platinum, and you're going to repeat rows 2 through 5 two more times, and then repeat row 2 once more, and then chain 1. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to show you um, on the screen, if you just look at the bottom of the screen, I'll give you the time signature where you can go back in this video to begin row 2 again should you need the crochet support. If you don't, just go ahead and you can you know, crochet without watching the video, certainly, perhaps at this point. Um, and then after that again, repeat row number 2. I will show you that repeat of the last row and then the finishing after you complete rows 10 through 18. After completing row 18, this is what your washcloth should look like, or the dishcloth rather. Okay, I've gone ahead and I've chained one. I'm going to turn, and now I'm going to work three stitches in the same space right here at the top. One, two, Three. that's going to serve as a corner later on. Now the instructions say to work 40 single crochets evenly all across. Okay, um, there are a couple of, of um, strategies that you can use. Uh, one that I like to use is to pick the center, which is right here. So from this point to this point, you could work 20 stitches evenly. Now we can even break it down further. Let's see if we can do that. Um, and, and let's, mm, it'd be kind of hard to do. I was thinking if we could find the halfway point here, we could go 10 stitches, but I don't really think that's gonna be easy. So let's just say from, from this point to this point, uh, we're gonna try to work um, 20 stitches evenly. Now if you wanna use a stitch marker, let me go grab one of those. Okay, now that I've added a stitch marker, that might help a little bit. So I'm gonna go ahead and try to work 20 stitches evenly. And I'm gonna go ahead and work this with the camera running because this is always a kind of a trial and error process. But I just want you to see that if you find it a little tricky, and there's a reason for that, it's usually a tricky thing to do. Um, and it's okay if you have to pull stitches out and try again to get it right. So that's three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And notice I am just working over the chain instead of working in the individual um, the individual stitches. Let's just stop and take a look and see how this looks. I have ten stitches from here to here. and that looks that looks about right. okay, so let's let's just keep going and see if we can get this all the way across. So that was 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. I'm gonna just go with that. So I'm gonna um, actually I'm going to move that marker just down to there so I can still work in the stitch. And it, I, I'm going to leave it in because it's going to be a reference point for me as I go across to the other side. So I'm going to go ahead and start over. Instead of counting um, to 40, I'm going to start over and count to 20 again. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's take a look. That's about halfway. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-se
12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. So that's going to be our 40 stitches. Okay. Now it is, uh, and then the corner is right here. So we are just in this next stitch, we're going to work our three stitches for the corner. One, two, <clears throat> three, excuse me. And then we're going to turn 90 degrees and we're going to do that again. We're going to do this over all, all, all the sides. We're going to work 40 stitches evenly across. And again, I would recommend using the stitch marker. I'm going to go ahead and uh, I'll just start this one a little bit. And if you're not sure where the center is, go ahead and fold it. And the center. I guess the center is pretty obvious. It's right here, but I just wanted to fold it to verify. So that's where I can put maybe the 21st stitch or the 20th. It really doesn't matter. Um, as long as it looks even. And that's the other thing. You want to make sure that the stitches look decent, that they look even, and, and, and that looks and feels like it's going to be fine. Well, I'm going to go ahead and work my 40 stitches evenly across this side. Then I will make a three single crochet cluster in the corner, and then just continue all the way around. And then I will show you the, the join of this round and the final round. After finishing that perimeter round by working 40 single crochets spaced evenly along each edge and three single crochets in each corner, we're going to join with a slip stitch to the first stitch of this round, chain one, single crochet in the same stitch where we just joined. Now this is going to be our corner. It's the center um, single crochet of the three single crochet cluster. So just put three single crochets in that spot and that will be our corner. Now we have one stitch here and then one stitch in the other corner. So that's going to make 42 stitches all the way across. So we're going to go ahead and single crochet. It's going to be a lot easier this round because we're not having to space them out. So we're going to single crochet 42 stitches all the way across. So after working those 42 single crochets all the way across, that brings us to the center single crochet and I'm just going to put three single crochets in there and I'm just going to continue working along the other side. I'm going to do this along each side and then I will show you the final join. After working that last single crochet we join with a slip stitch to the first stitch of the round. Give it a chain, give it a tug, cut a nice strand at least four to five inches long so that would be easy to hide and so now we have effectively finished crocheting the washcloth but we do have some work to do we have a lot of threads to hide especially with all these lovely lovely color changes i'm just going to show you using one strand just how to how to easily hide these stitches with our yarn needle and we thread the yarn needle and I am going to hide them all on this side. I'm just picking a side. You can decide which, you know, which side you want to be the front or the back. I really don't think it's going to matter once we hide these strands because um, I think it is going to be kind of reversible. But we want to make sure that we hide these as carefully as we can. So I'm going to just run these under the stitches as best I can. You want to do this in a way so that the strands will not pop out again and you, know, you don't don't want to want to have those showing so I, I'm going to run it under quite a few of these strands maybe a couple inches worth it's a little bit tricky because these are smaller stitches and these yarn needles can be a little on the thicker side if you find that it's hard to get the eye of the needle through these stitches, you can always go to um, one of the metal thinner uh, upholstery style needles and, and that might be helpful. And then after that we're going to give the strand a little clip very carefully because we don't want to clip our stitches. 
and that should do it for that one stitch or, or rather for that one thread now I've got several more to do and as I hide these I'm going to purpose to for example hide the white under the white stitches the gray under the gray stitches um, if it's impossible for you to do that you know just do the best you can with this um, I in like for example this might be showing a little bit but that, that's really not a, not, not going to be a problem so anyway um, this completes the morning sunburst um, dishcloth um, stay tuned to the Spotty Bay Crochet channel. If you haven't subscribed already, please um, hit that little red subscribe button so you won't miss any more videos coming your way. Um, I will be having the matching towel with this coming your way soon. God bless. Bye-bye.